Hello and welcome to Cold Smoking Cookery School. I'm Taran. Many of you know me for my food smoking and meat curing adventures, but not many of you, I guess, know that I actually keep bees and I've been keeping bees now for around about seven years. And I finally bit the bullet and built myself a solar wax melter. Now, any beekeepers out there will know that one of the big binds of uh, beekeeping is actually recycling your wax. Once the bees have been using it a while, it becomes quite dark. It's got little fibrous bits in it and uh, just gets contaminated. And it's always good practice to try and put new uh, foundation in your frames so that you can get rid of some of the old uh, comb. And one of the things we like to do, obviously, is to recycle it. I don't like melting wax using energy like electrics or gas. So I finally bit the bullet and built something that uses the, the energy for, from the sun. And um, one of the things that I found was that after I built it a couple of weeks ago, we actually had cloud for about 10 days. So it's only after the last couple of days that it's, it's been working. So I'm gonna take you out into the garden, which is bathed in sunshine at the moment, and show you my lovely wax melter. It's very easy. I'll stick some plans on the website. If you wanna download them, you're more than welcome to, but it's a great little project. Didn't cost a, a lot of money to make, very easy to do, and it's, uh, it's, it's a great bit of kit. Right, without further ado, let's take a look at it. Hello, come and have a look at my solar wax melter. Just a nice old wooden box, painted black, so that it absorbs lots and lots of solar energy. We've put a temperature gauge in the front here. It's very difficult to read, but it's showing at the moment 60 degrees Celsius. So that's really quite warm. Lids held down nice and tight with these elastic bands. These are those charity wristbands that you can buy. <laughs> Had a few left over from Help the Heroes and stuff. So I thought I'd use them for that. Keep those on display. It's just held off the ground and leveled up with a few little chocks because it's sitting on my grass at the moment. But this is, uh, so this is a metal oven tray under here and there's a piece of tissue paper that sits directly above some holes that have been drilled and it allows the wax to flow over that, filter through the tissue paper and down onto the tray that's there to catch it. I'll just open it up so you can see it a bit clearer. And there you go. So this is comb I've taken out of my hive, which uh, needed a refresh. And you can see all the crud that you don't want in your lovely finished wax. And this acts as a really nice filter. And there we go, we'll close that box to keep that heat in there. And uh, we'll come back to it later. Well, as you can see from that time lapse, the sun beating down on the solar wax melter has done a fantastic job. This is going to produce a very clean wax over a long period of time. You can just let it go when there's a nice sunny day. We've had a little cloud come over in the last few hours, but it's still operating now. I'm going to show you now some of the construction of the uh, wax melter and after that there's a few little drawings or just one little drawing on a sheet of A4 for you to have a look at. If you want to pause the video then please feel free to do so. Uh, I'll put a link in the description of the video if you want to go to the website and download a copy for yourself. It's absolutely free, 
um, no charge for that at all. If you like the video, please give us a big thumbs up, do subscribe to the channel and click on the bell icon to be notified when we post any more videos. In the meantime, have a good one guys. Hi, if you're looking to make a hinge, use a bit of copper pipe and some pipe clips. They act as a nice hinge and if you have to take the door off for any reason, you can.